Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won uh, last year in 2023 and we did the repeat for 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why like we have many, many others. Today I'm sure this 2011 Subaru Legacy Wagon that just came in. It's got almost 100,000 kilometers on it, which is about 62,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price is seen on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon, you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's East Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Legacy Wagon is a five-passenger vehicle in the uh, 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about that till next April or May. Now, I do have two ways to pay for this. First one being you with dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Two things before we go inside, I was like showing. First one, the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, it's give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And in addition, uh, always get yourself a good windshield visor. You gotta keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to the windshield visor, you may wanna consider buying a dash cover, or if you um, wanna keep it simple, go ahead and buy yourself a nice a large uh, bath towel or beach towel, lighter in color to drape across that, okay? The second one is, it does have the slots here. If you wanna put roof racks or crossbars, very easy to do. All right, so with that, let's jump on the side. Like I said, it's just coming in. It's going to be a little dirty, but it's actually not too bad. I don't know who was sitting in this seat, but it's very reclined. Key fob on your person, foot on the brake. It is a push start. You're going to push that one time, and it goes. Let me adjust this seat. Jeez, I don't know who sits in these things. All right. Let's sneak this in here. 99,336 on the odometer. I'll show you a couple of warning lights. I'm gonna start off with this blue one. Oops, let's turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. All right, the blue one is your temperature gauge. So it's gonna be blue when the engine's cool and it's gonna remain on, that's normal. When it warms up, it's gonna go away, that's normal. And then it's gonna be red if it's overheating, that's not normal, be on the lookout for that. Uh, that one right there in the middle is your uh, seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And that circular one that just came on is your emergency brake. Now this one's a little different. This one is a, um, a little uh, button here. So foot on the brake, you're gonna pull this towards you. This light goes off, the uh, emergency light, uh, or emergency brake light goes off. You push it in, that light comes back on, the emergency, uh, the emergency brake comes back on, okay? Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. I think pops up on a dash while you're driving, Especially if it's red, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? Uh, off to the left here on top of the dash, you have a little display, you're gonna sort of outside temperature, the time, and what else is that? I'm not exactly sure what, let's see. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what else that is in the middle. Then you have your radio, this one. Does not have a rear camera. Then a compartment for storage, your air conditioning controls, little uh, um, uh, space here for storage as well. Your shifter, the type of drive you want. So I believe it's uh, S is for uh, sport, sport plus, or sport sharp, I should say, and intelligent. Okay? This does not make you smart if you put it in intelligent. So I'm just telling you that right now. All right? And then um, cup holders, center armrest slash console. You lift it up, uh, it's going to give you a tray first. And then underneath there, it's going to give you more storage. And that's it. it. That is not an extra one. It's optional to have an extra power outlet there, but the previous owner did not get it. And then uh, you have your glove box. A little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red rope flare hanging out. Now look at this. This is my space over here. So on these newer body designs, 
um, they're just a lot more space. So the seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I could drive like this, but I'm pretty extended, so I would, I would definitely slide it for myself. I would slide it up at least two inches to be a little more comfortable driving. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Just see a sliver of the hood, not by much. We'll be back. Now, normally I take this time to show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. I'll show you a couple other things before you go to the back. The back seat. So, off to the right here, you have your mirror controls. This one's going to control the uh, illumination of the dash at night. Uh, I already showed you the uh, the emergency brake. This is, I believe, is brake assist for the uh, hill. I believe this is a uh, traction control. Then underneath there, you have a little compartment for some coins. And then all the way back here, you have your hood release. And then down here, please don't forget, you got your gas cover release. And on the door panel, you have your door lock and window controls. It also does have a cruise control. And it does have the paddle shifts, okay, where you're going to be putting it right over here. All right, I think that's about it. So... Uh, to turn it off, your foot does not have to be on the brake, you're just going to push that one time and it goes. Over here. Okay. All right. So with the seat all the way back, all the way down, and again, remember, I said I'd slide this up a couple inches. I'm about two inches away from the back seat to my knees. Uh, each seat back does have this netting. I'm not a big fan of this one, but uh, just be careful what you put in there. You don't break it. Uh, then a little bit of storage and cup holders on each door panel. Then it does have the all-important vents back here. You want to make sure they're facing the right way, so you're going to help cool down the car. And you want them to have them elevated a little bit, so it's going to cool down a lot quicker. And this white line has to be all the way up to get that airflow. If it's all the way down or halfway, you're not getting the full airflow. Make sure you uh, got that set right. And then it does have the little um, armrest that stays level. That's going to give you two extra cup holders. All right. Let's go to the back here. And this one is an all-wheel drive model. Okay. Now look at how much space there is. Huge amount of space. That privacy cover can come out if you have to haul stuff or whatnot. You just uh, It just comes up. And then if you need extra space, you see these handles? Say goodbye to that, that seat, okay? Look at how much space you'll have. I'll do this one also. If you take this uh, privacy cover out, if you're an outdoorsy type, you could probably sleep back here comfortably, all right? Huge amount of space on these things. Now, these things don't last long. Got some aftermarket wheels on there. Let's show you the engine compartment. We're going to wrap this video up. And it did, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, it does have eyesight. Okay, it's a, um, a radar detection uh, for, uh, I think it's uh, anti-collision radar. Don't hold me to 100% of it. I'm not exactly positive on the whole system. All right, but here you have it. It's 2.5 liter uh, boxer engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. All right, is it a 2.5? Yeah, 2.5. All right, so there you have it, 2011 um, Legacy Subaru Legacy B4 wagon. Again, uh, just over 99,000 kilometers on it, which is approaching 62,000 miles. Military prices down at 5,700 with additional military discount. We'll get it down to 5,500. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5,500 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty. The uh, 2024 road tax and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. Whether you want liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's East Cars at a show we have, what our program is all about and how we're going to assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of the 0% finance for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.